going to get started. I went ahead and painted this white because I'm going to be using this really pretty rice paper, y'all. And this is why I'm using the horseshoes because of this rice paper here with these two horses on it. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. And I've already started some of this antique waxing, but we're going to we're going to get after it here. Um, no, I think um, I think I want. That's not bad. I thought maybe this would be faster. We'll see. And I'm just using the antique Waverly wax from, um, oh, you can get it at Walmart. Okay, so we got this so far. We've got that. Um, let me do all the sides here. Okay, so I got hmm, all the sides. All right, so um, I might have to paint the inside. Be careful. It doesn't matter because, well, it kind of does matter. So we got our little surface like this now, y'all. And I'm gonna just hit it real quick with the um, with the heat. So, all right, I think I'm going to do. Let's see. I'm gonna put this picture in. I think I'm gonna do the iron-on method. I'm gonna do the iron-on method, I think, because I'm gonna be using this scrapbook paper to, look at this scrapbook paper. It looks like, um, it looks like, kinda like leather or something. But I got that from Hobby Lobby. Um, I've had it for a little bit, but I think they still have this. So I'll be using that on the side. So I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna do the iron-on method. Y'all look at this. I mean, yeah, I use a lot of Mod Podge. So I'm just using the matte Mod Podge. And I'm just going to just brush some on. Okay, so we just have that cover there. You can't see it's white, right? Okay, so we are going to hit that with some, we're just gonna dry it. I think I'm gonna put that right there. Cut that real quick, y'all. Just going to cut this. So I think that's where we're going with that. Then I have these two pieces that I cut from my scrapbook paper. Um, 
I'm not sure how this, I think it will adhere, but I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll look, we'll look and see if not. So I'm just gonna put some parchment paper down over that. wrinkles, no nothing. Okay, so that's what we got so far with the little the horse. I just love this rice paper. Okay, so now y'all, I'm gonna, this is gonna be tricky. So I'm gonna use my little, I don't know if you, I'm gonna use my, um, my horseshoe and yes, it is rusty. It is, I've had it on this farm for I don't know how long. Go ahead and use this E6000. On here, hopefully it'll work. I'm gonna use some hot glue too. I'm gonna go ahead, these um, pearls fit in there really well. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and use these pearls um, just to fit there. And then this bling from Totally Dazzled. This is the um, antique, antique bronze. So we're gonna put that right there. Seems like I'm too far away. All right. And then this we're just gonna put right there. gold look how pretty that rose gold is I love this bling wrap um I think I've almost used all mine that we are going to just I just cut some strips so we're just gonna take just these strips of um, the rose gold Got some rope. 
Oh, can you see it? I'm afraid this is going to fall, but I think you can see it, maybe. This is with the rose gold. rose gold. So, okay, so now these paper flowers um, I got from Hobby Lobby um, Paper Studio. And I think that's what I'm going to do right here. So we will bling that up here in just a second. And this one, um, this little it's antique bronze it's a little bitty um, rhinestone piece really all I was going to do to this. Um, I could bling all this out too, but I felt like it may take away from this right here. I just wanted to kind of do just a little bit there, but I like the, I like the pink. What do y'all think? Or the uh, rose gold. I like the rose gold. Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and download our free printable sparkle quotes. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.